of going over what's next out there. Obviously, um, LFP batteries are a big thing. Um, lithium ion phosphate batteries, um, hydrogen fuel cells. Um, that's I'm told is the next next big thing. Um, hopefully, new firefighting mediums and tools, um, new fire and life safety systems that are coming up online. We're changing a lot of the lead acid batteries to lithium ion batteries. Um, I got a facility out here in Phoenix that, that you know did this without permits. Um, and now they're trying to go back and figure out how to make it work. But um, but also, we're also seeing a lot more facilities, instead of go through lithium ions, they're going to lead acid again, um, especially if they just needed to, to get that gap between when they lose power and then when the generators kick on. Um, a lot of times lead acid can actually, you know, be really beneficial to them and it's not as stringent code-wise. Hey, Brian, I've got a question specific to lead acid. Um, what should we be doing for data centers when they want to change out the lead acid batteries to lithium ion? <laughs> um, talk to your local ASJ as soon as possible, because if they've got a standard sprinkler system, you know, maybe a 0.5, depending on how it was built, and you have to come up in Phoenix to a 0.6, I mean, you're talking about new piping, um, a lot of upgrades to that sprinkler system. Um, so the earlier that we can have discussion, because maybe that's not the best plan, or maybe instead of switching it out inside the building, then we put it outside and, you know, put it in non-occupiable cabinets. Once again, the sooner you can come talk to me or come talk to that local HJ is the better, because like I said, I have one that did this exact same thing and, um, they just didn't know any better and wish they would have got better advice from whoever installed it. Now we're trying to figure out how to make it work because their sprinkler system is very old and does not, cannot meet 0.6 the way it's installed. So we have to basically redo the entire system, which is very, very costly. Uh, other thing that I'm seeing a lot of generators go from diesel to, to batteries, to lithium ion batteries, because um, now we get rid of the diesel and a lot of environmental and a lot of federal government regulations. Battery fire pumps. We're starting to see a lot of those start coming online. Parking garages, can they support the weight of the, of the electric vehicles? The um, parking garage failure in uh, New York City, um, that's one of the questions is, did they have you know, electric vehicles? Because electric vehicles are probably twice the weight of a normal um, car. So did that add to that collapse of that parking structure? I don't know. Spring system design, you know, charging stations, that's a big one for us. And then what happens when they're on fire? This is all the stuff that we're currently trying to figure out um, for the next editions. And we don't know what's next. Um, let's start that conversation on all the new technologies. Um, we need to try to be as transparent as possible. I understand, you know, proprietary and, and, and that kind of stuff, but open conversations, creating partnerships, that's what this is all about. Um, we should be looking at this as, you know, as a, as a team, you know, trying to come up with solutions to be able to be successful and get these things installed and have the fire department, have the city, have the public, have a sense of, of comfort, understanding that they we've gone through all of the different um, boxes and checked them all off. And we've done as much as we can to make them as safe as possible. And we can't do that unless we work together.